Fortunately for most women, pregnancy is an exciting time that results in a healthy mother and baby. <laughs> However, for about 800 women every day, pregnancy ends tragically in a maternal death. Most of these women live in low- and middle-income countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. The vast majority of these maternal deaths are preventable with timely and adequate medical care. A delay in getting this care might mean the difference between life and death. Nearly two decades ago, Serene Thaddeus and Deborah Main came up with a conceptual framework to explain why a maternal death occurs. They identified three delays. First, a delay in the decision to seek care. Secondly, a delay in arriving at a health facility. And thirdly, a delay in the provision of adequate care. Let's walk through the different delays together. The first delay occurs in the decision to seek care. An example of things that affect the decision to seek care is a lack of knowledge on when to seek care. For example, if a woman has never been told to seek care, if she suddenly experiences severe headaches and visual disturbances, these could be alarming symptoms of eclampsia and should be checked out by a midwife or doctor. Another example is when a woman is not allowed to make the decision and needs approval from her husband, mother-in-law or someone else. And there may be many more reasons financial barriers or previous experiences with the healthcare system that make women reluctant to seek care when they should. The second delay occurs in reaching an adequate healthcare facility. Reasons for the delay could be physical inaccessibility factors or lack of transportation, long distance and travel time from home to a health facility, inadequate communication systems that do not allow to organize transportation or referral, the third delay can occur after a woman has reached the facility in the receipt of adequate care. Factors that affect this delay are whether the referral system works well, whether a facility has shortages in essential supplies, equipment or treatments, or whether there is a sufficient number of qualified personnel. Although some proportion of maternal mortality is a result of all three delays, any one phase can prove fatal. This also means that when thinking about ways to improve maternal health, it is important to analyze the journeys of individual women who experienced a maternal death or a woman who nearly died. Within the health system, this can be done in maternal death or near-miss audits. It is important to realize that women's journeys leading up to a maternal death or near-miss do not start in the hospital, but in fact earlier. Analyzing what happens systematically allows us to learn and improve healthcare provisions for other women and hopefully increase their chance of a healthy pregnancy. <laughs>